Well, I just wanted to uh, <clears throat> talk about a few disconnected things here that I haven't uh, discussed before. And one of them here is at the front. This is your main uh, tube here of the frame, and this is the cross frame, cross member of the frame right here, okay? And one thing that I really like about this trike is that if you notice, this frame is angled back towards the seat. Now on my ice Q trike um, that I used to have, and uh, also on my ice full fat, and uh, on my Cat Trike 700 too, but mostly on the ice, like the two ice trikes I have had, this cross member pretty much goes straight across here. And so you have a distance more like this between the cross member and the seat. Now you can see here that if you look at this frame, the distance to the seat is very short. Now the reason that this is preferable, especially for a lower, uh, a trike that sits lower, is that the closer you can have your legs here, the easier it is to sit down here. If your legs are right here and the seat is right here, you can sit down with relative ease. If your cross member is out here like it was on my ice trikes, your legs are here and the seat is farther back, which requires oftentimes that you have to uh, kind of hold on to something uh, because obviously you, you can try, you can, if, you probably know what I'm talking about, but the farther the seat is behind where you're going to sit down, the harder it is to sit down without assistance. Uh, you can uh, try this yourself. Go to a chair like you're going to sit down and see how close the back of your calf muscles are to the, the chair. You don't stand this far out from the chair to sit down on it. You stand relatively close. And so this is a nice design feature of the HP Velotechnic, the way this angles back like this. And uh, I just wanted to talk about that today because I think it is important. Uh, like I remember when I test rode the uh, ICE VTX in uh, 2013, yeah, 2013 at the uh, trade show. Um, the, the cross member was way out here and the VTX sat really low to the ground because it's a race trike. And it, you, you definitely had to, uh, um, it was not easy to get into. I mean, once you're in it, it was deliciously comfortable. <laughs> but getting into it, getting out of it, presented a little bit of an issue um, for anybody, even if you're fit. I'm very fit and it's, you know, you still had to kind of lean forward and, you know, grab on to the derailleur post or whatever to, to help pull yourself up. But not so much with this. With this kind of frame design, um, it makes it very easy to get in and out. And so I want to congratulate HP Velotechnic on this swept back design. And uh, if you're going to get a trike, regardless of what brand you get, just remember the closer, the shorter this distance here, the easier it is to sit down. The greater this distance here, if you have a cross, this cross member coming straight across up here, the harder it is to sit down. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about here is on my rear wheel, um, I wanted to mount a tail light. Now, I don't have the rack on here yet, okay? And that may change the dynamic here. And normally I would mount a tail light on the back of the rack, which I may well do when I get the rack, but the rack is on back order from Germany still, and there's no expected date of delivery yet. So basically what I've done is something very simple. I've taken a piece of flexible aluminum, which was part of a, uh, a, a rack mount for an old man mountain rack that I had, and I straightened out this curve here 
and I bolted um, one end of it down here to where the fender mounts and then up here at the top I put my cat eye 10 LED tail light and so this is going to work out very well for the time that I'll be riding before I get my rear rack. Now what I don't know is if if this uh, cat eye can mount onto the rear rack that's probably what I'll do once I get that rear rack but I, I was just looking at it today and this actually might still be a viable solution even when the rear rack goes on here I, I don't know but I just wanted to show this if you're looking for <laughs> I mean you can Mounting a rear tail light, I mean, it kind of looks kind of hokey, but I kind of like it. It puts the, I, I originally had the light down here, um, but I wanted it a little higher. And so I put it up here like this, and uh, it'll work fine uh, until I get the uh, rack, and it might keep working once I do get the rack. But you can see, it doesn't take much innovation. Just If you just have a piece of scrap aluminum around, this was a stability um piece of aluminum for my an old man mountain rack that I had on my cat trike 700 and I, I just keep uh, old pieces of aluminum around or whatever and uh, I found a use for it here and it uh, seems to work out quite well okay so I'm going to show you this tail light from the rear here it's a 10 LED uh, cat eye tail light and there are a number of ways it has two switches and you know there's, there's two little buttons here and there's four different adjustments and the one that saves the most battery life is probably this one here and they all work really well and they even show up from the side so that's kind of what um, this tail light looks like from the back. It's 10 LEDs and it's very bright. And it'll get the attention of motorists, I believe. Takes two uh, AA batteries and I have uh, the Ultimate Lithium uh, Ever Ready batteries in it. Another thing I wanted to highlight that I neglected to talk about before was the number of spokes. Um, I'm used to 32 spokes on my ice strikes and I think there were 32 per wheel on my cat trike 700, I don't recall anymore. But all the wheels on this trike, the two 20 inch wheels in the front and the uh, 26 in the back, all have 36 spokes which is impressive for me because the more spokes the stronger your wheel a little more weight sure but strength and durability are always of paramount importance to me one thing um, you may have noticed in other videos was that HP Velotechnic puts these uh, high reflective red reflectors and other reflective material. This is on the back of the front fenders, which is great because anybody coming uh, from the back of the car would see that. And then right underneath here, I have mounted a little two LED tail light, which is basically right under my left handlebar so I can turn that on at any time let's say I'm in a tunnel or something I can turn that on and so cars see that from behind um, in addition to my rear tail light okay fellow trikers that's about it for today I just wanted to talk about those few little things that I had neglected to talk about before Happy triking!